happy Tuesday. Today is the last first day of college. Um, it's about eight o'clock. I am leaving for class right now, so uh, let's go. I just pulled up to school. It is 821. Um, let's see. I've got a busy day. I get to TA the aerodynamics lab that I'm a TA for at 830. Then I have propulsion, UAS, which is my grad class, so unmanned aerial systems. Then I have senior design. I'm going to the barn. And then I have robotics later, my robotics class, not my club. So it's a very busy day. Um, I'm excited. I hope it's fun. And I hope things go smoothly. It is now 12.53. I just got out of my UAS class. Oh my gosh. I think having like three back-to-backs for an hour and a half each. Well, I guess two of them are 75 minutes. The first one's an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm exhausted. I was like, I had coffee this morning. I guess I still haven't finished it, but like, oh my goodness. I think that's going to get exhausting. I need to figure out when to eat and when to go to the bathroom because I had to pee so bad and I was so hungry. Either way, it's kind of cold out. Um, it's supposed to snow eight inches in the next 24 hours. So I need to go to the barn, make sure my horse is not sweaty, but also go get some of her wiggles out because um, she's definitely going to have some time off with how cold it's going to be and all of the weather coming in. So um, I made a cute little bento box that I barely ate any of. Um, not sure what that was, but I'm um, gonna eat some food, go to the barn, and then I have robotics in about three hours. So I'm probably gonna end up going to class kind of smelling like horse, but whatever, let's get going. I just got to the barn. I went and got dressed. I try to, I don't know, I started to get moving, and then I just realized maybe I shouldn't do this today. So I probably should have thought about this more before I drove half an hour out here. It's a lot colder out here than it is in Boulder. And I have to leave for class in 75 minutes, um, which, again, I, I should have thought about that more. But if you know anything about horses, that's not enough time to get ready, ride, untack, and put your horse away properly. Um, especially considering how cold it is and how fluffy my horse is, she's, she'd probably be really sweaty afterwards, which... Sometimes that in itself, getting your horse unsweaty, can take like 40 minutes. So, um, I'm gonna go back. I'm giving myself like 45 minutes to get to class. Well, I guess from the barn I would be, just because I don't know where the room is. Um, I haven't had a class on main campus in three years. Literally almost exactly three years because COVID happened in March. So, I don't know main campus very well. So, I want to make sure I actually give myself like proper time to 
find my class, not be late, that sort of thing. Um, and I will, you know, I'll have more time at the barn once I actually know a little bit more about my classes. So I'm gonna go home. So guys, I'm currently sitting in the Target parking lot wrapping up a package I'm shipping out from something I sold on eBay. But either way, I just got invited to my first PhD visit day, which is super cool. Um, I applied to 10 schools for my PhD um, so far and then to one. So I got into Penn State fully funded, which is absolutely nuts. And then this morning I found out that I got invited to CU's visit day, which yes, CU is the school that I go to. And I applied to work with the same professors that I already work with, but regardless, it's still um, still exciting. And uh, I don't know, hopefully I have more news, hopefully good news in the future, in the coming weeks for you all. But um, those of you that did not know, visit days are essentially your tours, um, just like your undergrad tours, but completely elevated. So they'll fly you out there, um, put you up in a hotel, and you'll spend a few days with the faculty members you'd potentially want to work with, as well as with the other grad students you maybe be working with. Um, so again, I already know the faculty members, because the two that I applied to work for are the current, my current two PIs, um, but still super fun. It'll be a great way just to get, them know, get to know them more, get to know their current students, and get to know other potential students that um, I could end up with here or both of us could end up at another school, who knows, but, um, very exciting. I know in one of my recent videos, I talked about, um, the importance of touring colleges before you apply, just so you can save yourself the time, the energy, and the money applying, going through the entire application process. However, it's very hypocritical of me because of the 10 grad schools I apply to, I've only actually seen two of them, and that's because, um, I'm kind of waiting on visit days. If they're gonna fly me out to go brag about their research and give me some yummy food and just let me like really immerse myself in the experience, that is huge. Um, I toured UT Austin in October and as great as it was to see the campus, it is so beyond minuscule compared to what a normal PhD admissions tour is gonna be. When you are getting undergrad tours, you're really seeing the classrooms, the learning spaces, they're bragging about their dining halls, the dorms, that sort of thing. While grad visits are so much more focused on um, the specific research labs you'd be working it with or in, the professors you'd be working with, their research goals, um, what the next five, six years for them looks like because that is where you would be involved that sort of thing. So it's a lot more specialized, a lot more targeted. So very excited because even though I work for these current two PIs, I don't know what the research is going to look like in six, seven, eight years. And that is where or when I'd be there-ish. Hopefully I wouldn't be there eight years, but I'd be there probably six years. So um, very, very exciting. Either way, I, like I said, just finished wrapping up a package that I need to go send out. So I'm going to go run to the post office. I also need to pick up some stamps. Um, and then, I don't know, I think I'll have some time before class. We'll see. I successfully dropped my package off. I think I had to park like four and a half blocks away from USPS to not pay for parking. So it took a lot longer than I was expecting. It's about three o'clock now. Um, well, I guess it's 2.57. Technically my parking pass over here starts at three o'clock. So let's hope I don't get ticketed in the next few minutes, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past CU parking services to get me. So we'll see. Um, and then I'll have about half an hour to go find my class, go to the bathroom, eat some food. I have had a not super great headache lately, I guess for the last few hours that I'm hoping doesn't turn into a migraine, but I don't have any medicine with me. So, um, I'm just trying to eat a ton, drink a lot of water, hope for the best, but, um, I do get chronic migraines that occasionally make me vomit. So that's great. Um, so hopefully I can get through the next seven hours of life before I go to bed without throwing up. So that's great. But, um, I'm going to sit in here and stall until um, I can verify that I did not get caught by CU parking, so. just got back 
back home. It's currently 5.08. If I'm being completely honest, I feel like absolute garbage. Um, I was kind of surprised. I was like, okay, driving home. When I get migraines, my like peripheral vision doesn't feel very good. Like my eyes just hurt. Um, I gonna eat some food, take some medicine, make a bath. I got some leftover, what is this, wing stop from last night. Um, I don't know, very grateful I don't have like very much homework to do. There's a few things I have to do, like homework zeros, which count I think in all of my classes, but when they're called homework zero, it's really just like um, participation, get to know you, understand your background, that sort of thing. So um, I'm gonna do that, eat some food, and take a bath, and um, try to get my nausea to calm down a little bit, so.